Hello and welcome back to the channel. So this lecture is all about Apache Drill. So in the previous lectures, we have seen how we can choose the right database for handling the big data. But from this lecture, we will start our journey by learning different query engines that are available. And these are all suitable for big data applications. So Apache Drill is nothing but a low latency schema free query engine for handling the big data. And it works with different NoSQL databases, many other storage system like Amazon S3, Azure, as well as GCP, which is Google Cloud Platform. And we can also use it on top of HDFS. But we cannot say Apache Drill is a query engine only for Hadoop ecosystem, but it can run SQL on different file formats as well as the database storages. And it also includes the NoSQL database. So it's just like running a SQL query on a NoSQL databases, which makes it very popular choice for many applications. So we can work with MongoDB as well as HBase. So you may ask, where is Cassandra? So as of now, Apache Drill is not supported for Cassandra, but we have another query engine, which is known as Presto, which is developed by Facebook and it has capability to work with Cassandra. So which we are going to discuss in the upcoming lectures. But for now, Apache Drill is based on Google's Dremel. So it'll be confused like everything Apache develops is just based on the papers which are published by Google. So if we talk about HDFS, it is just like Google file system. This is also not an exception. So Drill is based on the paper published by Google for Dremel and Apache just implemented it in the real world by introducing Drill to us. So this Drill can integrates with local file systems such as the network attached storage. Also, it will just integrate with our Hadoop ecosystem as well as the Hive database. Also, the NoSQL databases such as MongoDB, HBase and also different cloud providers such as Amazon S3. So you can just run SQL commands on some files stored in S3 bucket as well as if you talk about GCP, we have the Google Cloud Storage and the Azure Blob Storage. So if you have like a JSON file or a Parquet file present on any of these cloud providers, you can just submit simple SQL operation on top of that file. So let's talk about where this actually fits in our Hadoop ecosystem. So as we discussed in the previous lectures, we have discussed many of the NoSQL databases which are not really a components of a core Hadoop system with an exception of HBase because HBase uses HDFS as a storage layer. But if you talk about Apache Drill, it is also not a core Hadoop component because Apache Drill have its own execution engine and it is not dependent on any of the Hadoop component such as HDFS or YARN or MapReduce as well. So that is the reason Apache Drill is a very versatile tool and you can read data from HDFS as well and run some simple SQL operation. So in simple words, if you want to just use SQL over Hadoop, which here in this figure it is given, you can use either Hive or Apache Drill or Impala. So Hive, you already know, Impala is also a tool which is developed by Cloudera and give us the same capability which Hive provides. But in this case, Impala has its own execution engine which runs parallel for each and every execution. And Apache Drill has the same as well. So that is the reason these engines are way more optimized for running SQL queries as compared to Hive. So let's discuss some of the main features of Apache Drill. So the first one is very important. It has the capability to connect to multiple data stores. So it has some pluggable architecture which will enable us to connect to multiple data store. So you can connect to your MongoDB instance as well as HBase instance and you can also submit join operations on both of them which we will discuss in the next topic. But if we talk about Drill, it also works with local system as well as cloud storage as well as a NoSQL databases which doesn't have a fixed schema assigned to it. So that is the reason it is also known as SQL on NoSQL database. The next one is it has its distributed execution engine for processing the queries so that the users can submit requests to any node in the cluster. So it is just like a parallel execution where a single task is split up into multiple small tasks which is executed parallelly on these worker nodes. 
so this is the architecture is also followed by the impala which we will discuss in the subsequent lectures so the next feature is it has jdbc odbc drivers so it give us to connect to multiple servers so you can connect your drill with either power bi or tableau to build reports on top of the files with ease to communicate with your data in the more interactive way then it also has the supports for complex or we can say like multi structured data types so that is the reason it is pretty flexible and can connect to different file format as well as file storages also it has it allows the sql analysis of a disparate data so it is not like you should need a relational database on which you can connect drill drill can connect on no sql database as well which has a flexible schema assigned to it so if we talk about mongodb mongodb stores data in json like documents so you can run some simple sql queries on top of it which is very powerful and it also has decentralized data management so as we talk about no sql no sql is just like a decentralized model because we are not going to create multiple tables for our schema instead we will be having the column families in which one table could have multiple column families and those families can contain multiple columns that is one example of decentralization where we have n number of columns and billions of rows to handle the big data and drill has some specialized memory management as well which will reduce the amount of main memory that program can use while it runs and eliminates the garbage collection so that is also one main feature of drill so let us discuss some use cases where we can use drill very effectively so the first one is a very obvious it is just like a sql for no sql so this drills odbc driver and a very powerful parallelization will provide a interactive query capabilities so we can also submit join operation as well on different data files so if you have mongodb instance running so we can join mongodb collection to a hbase table we can do all sorts of operation using this drill and it will be very easy to use for end users because you will just need a basic sql knowledge but it is doing so much work under the hood but if we talk about usability it will be very user friendly as you only need sql knowledge and just know how to connect to a different data sources by using this jdbc or odbc drivers that's it and you're good to go and also the next one is it integrates well with hive so it serves as a complement to the hive deployments which provides a low latency queries and also drill has integration with hive meta store as well which stores all the metadata so that is one plus point and the next one is due to its approach to access the json data and it can also e expose that data via the rest api which will be useful for sensor analytics information so these are some use cases of apache drill so at last let's talk about some of the benefits of drill so the first one is it can scale the data from single node to thousands of nodes and we can query petabytes of data within seconds which is very suitable for big data application the next one is it is very easy to deploy and it can operate a very large clusters this is only because of its symmetrical architecture and very simple installation that is the reason we can simply deploy drill and work with large data files stored in different data formats as well as in different storage the next one is it has the flexible data model and has the extensible architecture and also as we have talked about we can use join operation on multiple data sources at time you can just join hbase table to a mongodb collection as well as you can just join a parquet file which is stored in the s3 bucket or else if you have a json file lying around you can just use join operation to, to join that but it is not recommended though because drill is just a query engine and your data is still stored as a flexible schema in no sql database which is not suitable for join operation so you have to make sure if your underlying databases are not suitable for join operations then you should be aware because it will consume a lot of resources and may not be that much efficient for a decentralized data model and at the last it integrates well with many databases including nosql 
so as we talked about mongodb in the previous lectures it was not that easier because it has its own javascripty language to handle mongo shell so that's how we can mess up with the data but you cannot have that capability to run some sql queries but you have now you can use drill to connect with mongodb where we can run simple sql operations so it has so many possibilities because it works with different technologies and integrates well with them so that is the reason apache drill is a very popular choice nowadays to have some simple analytics platform for your end user and due to its integration with all the services it makes a very good and solid choice for ever growing data as well as the evolving marketplace so to sum it up you just have to remember that drill is a query execution engine where you can run simple sql operation on different types of data formats as well as different data storage that will be enough for this lecture but i know theoretical knowledge will not be enough and you will more enjoy this when we just gets our hand dirty and work with drill so that's what we are going to do in the next lecture where we will set up drill and work with some data so we can connect it with mongodb as well as hive at a time and we can also submit some join operation that will be fun so i'll see you in the next lecture So if you like this lecture please hit subscribe and also ring the notification bell to get the latest updates and don't forget to follow us on our social media which i have linked in the description below thanks for watching